Kampala City Council transition to Kampala Capital City Authority in conformity with provisions of the KCCA Act of 2010. Repercussions of this transition saw a number of employees laid off as the KCCA leadership moved to abolish some offices as well as their roles. Following their dismissal, some of the disgruntled employees went to courts of law seeking redress. In their suit, the team was demanding for over 92 billion shillings as compensation for what they termed as abrupt yet unlawful dismissal. They also demanded the government to settle their terminal benefits under the Local Governments Act in which they were recruited and not the Kampala Capital City Authority Act of 2010. Fortunately, the journey of six years yielded results as the Lydia Mugambe court ruled in their favor, directing KCCA to settle their grievances. Unfortunately, close to two years now, this order remains lying somewhere on the shelves of government offices for reasons unknown to the complainants. While addressing media on their predicament, the team expressed disappointment over the manner in which authorities concerned are handling their issue. In that order, which we have all agreed, that KCCA takes over the responsibility of computing all the beneficiaries, uh, the, the, the beneficiaries entitlement, all the beneficiary entitlement, verify them, after verifying them, they submit it to government for payment. In my understanding, they are supposed to submit it to Minister of Finance for payment. And therefore, there was no need for Attorney General, therefore, to again give another legal opinion. Because this one was already signed by him, meaning it was an agreement which is a legal opinion in the same thing. Given the period the matter has taken, it is said that about 100 of these KCC ex-employees have rested, yet those still breathing are still struggling to survive. We won the case. We don't know why the president of Uganda doesn't want to come and help us. Me, I'm a single mother. I'm a single mother. I have a very grounded child on the bed. I don't know why the president of Uganda doesn't come and rescue us. For nine years we are suffering. Because we are suffering because we are suffering. Because Families if you know if families zau kanye abantu bafunde abantu babwade abantu bafunye obuzibu obwenja wo wo sentaza they now want president William Seveni to come to the rescue and save the day the president is still waiting for the committee to come out with their findings and recommendations to the attorney general then once upon receiving that report and the findings the president therefore clears us for payment and that's why we are now here crying, crying for the president. Not for any other reason, but for whatever involvement he has already committed himself to. In their plan B, they have threatened to go back to court, but this time round, their plea will rotate around, attaching some of the KCCA properties. The two server president, you know, the two server president, but we demand, two demanding that the sentence are free. We want that to call to call you. We to no, we shall not go back home. We shall go back to court. Personally, we are going to go back to court. Personally, we are going to go back to court. We are going to go back to court. We are going to go back to court. We being the president and the person that we know he is, he will respond. He doesn't want to see us suffering also, I believe. It's worth noting that court also ordered that on top of the 92.2 billion shillings, government should pay the workers an interest of 6% per year until full payment. I want to Dr. Kimono, 
UBC News.